So that new thrush welded muffler is going to sit right up there. So I'm going to fit that in and I'll uh, shoot some more in a little bit. Alright guys, you can see I have the exhaust in and clamped down. Um, I've also finished installing my Y pipe. I got the bolts that hold it on to the exhaust manifolds tightened down. Um, I've just got to connect my O2 sensors. I got four of them. There's four. There's the second one. The first two are up front. Those are going to be fun. Um, you can see I've got it was a little uh, it's a little fun getting this in here. It was just uh, long enough. I don't know if the pipes weren't long enough or whatever it was, but I kind of had to fudge it. But you can see it's nice and it's nice and sturdy now. I can move it and it, and it is not going anywhere. So should be sounding nice when uh, I start her up. Hopefully that's the goal. Um, so there's not too much more I can show you under here today. Um, I think I'm gonna try and put my belt on and figure out how to do that. So we'll see where uh, we'll see where we get. Uh, we'll see where we get today, and I'll I'll definitely add more to the video. Hopefully this will go up tonight. It might be a, like a two-part video. So all right. Well, it was relatively simple to get the belt on. I have the guide right here. Well, it's actually the uh, shroud or cover or whatever you want to call it. And I got a little diagram here. Most vehicles do have that. Have it. This is for the five of uh, 4.6 and the 5.4. This is the belt routing information. If you come over here, I'll show you. It's a little well, threw me through a loop there because the picture is a little different than this diagram. It doesn't show this tensioner. So I slipped the belt through here, looped it around the AC compressor, looped it around here, and then I put the ratchet. This this is for a half inch ratchet and you push down on it, you put the ratchet in, then you push down on it. This, uh, there's a spring in here and it lets the pressure off the spring so you can run the belt around the power steering up against this idler pulley over the uh, alternator under, the alt, uh, under another alt, uh, idler pulley and then back down to the AC compressor. And you can also see in there, this is the crankshaft position sensor. I did not replace that on this motor, it looked okay. Um, Hopefully I don't have to replace it once it comes up. It was not a cheap sensor. I think it was like a $50 or $75 sensor. Uh, so hopefully that functions. Um, this is where the uh, fan will go, but I'm thinking I'm putting E-fans on here, electric fans. So this can just stay the way it is. Um, but I haven't decided yet. We'll see. Actually, while I have the video camera out here, I'll show you a little bit close up of the frame damage that was done to the truck when I first got it. And we straightened it. I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of bulged in here. Uh, I'm going to take up and even up here, but we straightened it with uh, a porter jack. I think it's port, well, porter power jack or something like that. The frame straightening tool I got for about 80 bucks at Harbor Freight. Um, basically, what we did was we stuck one end in the corner here and pushed against the other, or used the hydraulic piston to push against this side of the frame rail, straightening it back out. Um, it was also, you can see the it's kind of rolled, so we straightened that out a little bit, but it was before the, the accident happened, before the cross member here, so we don't believe any of the suspension components were damaged. Um, yeah, I mean, I replaced most of it, but hopefully the truck will hold alignment. Well, I got a few more things to do. I got to connect the starter wires. Um, I've also got to put the gas tank filler neck on. I got some more. Uh, little wires to connect. I got to connect my O2 sensors. I've got to put my uh, 4x4 shifter through the floor and bolt it up. I had to get a new bolt for it and I had to change the mechanism because it was uh, rotted. Um, I've got to bleed the brakes. I've got to make sure everything is tight as well. I got to go through the suspension and torque everything because I just loosely put it in there when I put it in during the summer. Um, I got a couple more throttle linkages things I got to put put in and. Uh, I have to get a radiator and a condenser, and then I can see if we can run it. Um, well, I don't need the condenser to run it, but I need it to uh, put the nose back on the truck. So, we'll see. 